I'm going to talk about this help to seek thing. There are three reasons why Japanese people may not sit by you on the train. Me before. Number one, when Japanese people get off work, they are tired. The train is a place where they relax and sometimes fall asleep, you know, and forget about their day. In America, we're very social people. So we talk to everybody everywhere anytime, especially if you're from the South. So if they don't know English, they, they're just gonna avoid you. I mean, like, why try to set this with somebody who may talk to you in a different language? And that's one of the reasons why. And like I say, they, they won't they give me a space. And, and number one, B. And a lot of them want to be the first one to sit by you also. So it's not racism, just a part of culture. You got a stranger on the bus. So you give him a space as a respect so that person can relax and enjoy a long bus trip home. And it's one of the reasons. Another reason is, um, Another reason is smell. Like, for example, I use deodorant. In Japanese society, a lot of people do not use deodorant, believe it or not. They don't use fragrances, they don't use cologne. It's part of culture, it's not the wrongest, it's a culture difference. So, a lot of times we smell different. And sometimes if they have sensitive noses, we might even stink to them. We might smell really bad because they're not used to the foul uh, colognes that we use. Cause if I use cologne, I'm giving a damn what nobody say, what country I'm in. I'm comfortable using deodorant. If they're not comfortable, then hell with them. They can kiss it. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's one another reason. And another reason that uh, I want to bring up, maybe a little sensitive, but a lot of times women, Japanese women on the trains and buses, they get groped, you know. So they might just avoid sitting by a guy you know, or a foreigner. Because groping is um, it's one of the things that get done in Japan. Some A lot of women would tell you, yes, they've been groped on trains, uh, trains, planes, buses. In fact, I, I, <laughs> I saw women get groped in nightclubs. I saw women grope other women in nightclubs. So it's just part of the uh, thing. It's not bad when I'm saying that you're going to grope people. We're not saying that you're going to stink. We're not saying you're going to talk to them. But it's maybe one of the reasons why they don't sit by you on the train. And uh, another thing, you got to understand, a lot of kids never saw a person like you in person. They only see something like you on TV. They don't know who you are. They don't know some of them are afraid of you. It's, it's like the fear of the unknown. You know? So don't get twisted up, pinned up about it. Personally, I think it's kind of weird for a foreigner to have a set by me fetish. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing you can say about a culture is they don't sit by you. Shit, I'm from South Dallas. When I was raised up, I didn't want to sit by nobody on the school bus. I sit by my friends, you know, and on the city bus, I was to stand up. Then uh, sit by a stranger, have a long, uncomfortable conversation when I just got out of work. I saw dust all on me. So it's just a preference. So get over that. They don't sit by me finish. Matter of fact, you might be a creep. If you really want somebody to sit by you, be friendly. Smile sometime. Because personally, I tried to experiment three or four times. It never happened to me. I know I'm a little bubblier, more friendlier. Smile at people. I talk to children. So now I know it's a little, you know, I get more feedback than most people. But let's get it straight. A lot of foreigners in Japan are anime freaks which is not bad i like anime also but a lot of them is kind of really super super geeky you know they're not that social so they're not welcoming you know when you look at them you look like hey that's somebody i want to talk to you know you don't really get that vibe you know so if you want somebody set by you try to look friendlier make eye contact not stare don't be a creep but be open when you open your heart and your body your mind the world sees it 
the universe knows who's friendly, who's not. My wife get approached all the time in a busy mall, and I get always strangers always talk to me everywhere I go. It's pretty common. I don't care what color or green it is. I always get people waving at me. I get I don't care if they're white, black, Puerto Rican, whatever, Mexican. I never had the old problem because I'm not, you know, it's just a thing because I'm open. Then and so I get people talking to me all the time. So that's the sit by me fetish creeps. And think about it. That's the only thing you can find to talk about a culture. If they don't sit by you on a freaking train, then you're really reaching. You see, I'm in South Carolina. See those trees behind me? My ancestors hung for those trees. Those trees still standing. So don't be so sensitive. And number two, if you go travel around the world, people are going to stare at you. Don't be so sensitive. You know, you have a right not to be touched. If somebody try to touch you, touch your hair, your space, you have a right for your personal space. And you can let them know, hey, you know, I know you never sell black hair before, but, you know, don't touch it if you're that sensitive. And me, I got a bald head, so a lot of times, <laughs> old lady just walk up and palm my down head. And I don't mind, but it's kind of shocking because when they don't take it out quickly. But I don't mind. I understand, you know, to them it might feel good, but, you know. It's one of those things, okay? That's about it. Again, you want people to talk to you? Smile, be friendly, speak to kids, speak to them, say hello. It's, it's all you have to do, and you're gonna be as you're gonna be popular. All you have to do is say hello and walk away. That's about it on the up to seek thing. Another thing, I'm gonna end it this way, cause they out they, my work coworkers want to know that people stare at them if they're in Japan. Yes, we stare at strangers. We stare at foreigners. When I'm in my small town and I see a foreigners and I stare at them because it's shock. I don't see them every day. So I'm always like, what the hell is that? You know, and I approach the foreigners and I speak to them. I introduce myself. I invite them to Thanksgiving dinner and 98 of the time they always come to Thanksgiving dinner because they they want to talk, you know, they want to be approached, but they want to be friendly. But they might not have those social skills to express it as I do, because I, I don't give a damn. You reject me, you like me or not. So they gave me the freedom, special freedom to just live my life freely. And uh, if you are tall, blue-eyed, person with blonde hair, enjoy being a foreigner. Because sometimes I have friends that they in pain because they live in Japan for like, 20 years, they know the language, culture, they have their family of Japanese and Japan still look at them as the foreigners, which they're hurt by. So, you know, I can't do nothing about that. But personally, I, I'm black, so I don't want to be Japanese. I don't want to be white. I just want to be a black person. I can be in heaven with my blackness because I can be black. So I'm mastering being black. So if I try to be something else, I'm not it's not going to work out for me, you know. So you just got to deal with that, you know. In America, we do the same thing. They ask me if I'm African-American or black. I'm black because I'm born here, you know. But, it, you know, that's the way it is in America. Hispanic-American, Italian-American, Chinese-American. In America, we label people too. So just don't be sensitive about it. Enjoy whatever you are, whatever you are, enjoy it. And realize that, when some people stare at you, they're not looking at you as disgust. Some they looking at you as amazement. If you talk to them, a lot of times they feel amazing, especially kids. Kids say, hey, us foreigners say hello to me, foreigners smile to me, you know, and they remember it forever. So you give out a good impression, then, you know, it help out all the other foreigners. But that's about it. But I just got out of work. I'm a travel nurse. I come home and make a lot of money and go back home to the beach in my home in Japan. And I just want to make a short video because I'm sick of these set by me fetish people. I never hate the problem. You know, I know it does happen to people because I know there are some people I look at, I don't want to sit by them. They don't look friendly. They might be friendly, but they don't look friendly. And they might not be skilled at that sociable thing. So just get over it, okay? If you don't want to get rejected, for example, 
sometimes when I walking down the street and I see a you know young Becky walking the same street, I would cross the street. You know, and I cross the street because I'm racist. I cross the street because I don't want to deal with it. You know, I don't want to get rejected. So if I cross the street, then I don't get rejected. I don't have to prove that I'm a. I don't have to prove that I'm a nice person. I don't have to prove that I'm trustworthy. I just cross the street, and it's easy on me. Then they feel comfortable. I feel comfortable. And it's like that. So if you don't want people to reject you by not sitting by you, you can stand up. You can offer your seat. Or you just don't have to sit down. Then you won't get rejected. You know, that's one way to get through it. You know, you know, just stand up. Then let everybody else sit down. Then there's no rejection. Again, like I say, when I do it, I don't. I'm not doing it because I'm racist. I just, you know, I'm a big black guy. You know, and I'm bald and tattooed. And you know, I, I just so you know, I don't want to prove that I'm friendly. I just cross it down the street. You know, make them feel safer. Now I feel safer too. That's about it. This is Lamar Black. Uh, just attack this. They don't step by me. Thing or be stern at me. Thing. Get over yourself, dude. Get over it. Don't leave your house if you're so afraid of being the beautiful person that you are. So wherever you are, I don't know you, but I guarantee that you're an amazing person if you show the world. That's about it. I got to catch the bus. My black ass freezing out here.